What does the word resilience mean to you? Students in Worcester County have defined the word by drawing. These are resilience cubes and the different pictures they've illustrated represent how they're coping with the pandemic and hoping for the future. This is such a cool idea. We're going to find out more about this today with Tamara Mills, who's the coordinator of fine arts instruction for Worcester County Public Schools. How you doing, Tamara? Hi, good, good morning or afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> What's the idea behind these cubes? How did it come about? So uh, May 3rd through 9th is mm -hmm. Children's he Mental Health Matters Week in mm -hmm. Maryland. Mm -hmm. And 100% uh, of our schools in Worcester County are members of that group, mm -hmm. the uh, Children's Mental Health Matters Maryland group. Sure. Um, they provide wonderful resources and support for our students and staff. And they are very interested in using the arts mm -hmm. to help children with their mental health. So we came up with this idea of a project, uh, myself and the mental health coordinator, Lauren Williams, who's amazing, um, to create, have children draw and illustrate these resilience cubes. Um, resilience is really mm -hmm. the capacity to recover from a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. And ultimately that's what we want our kids to be able to do, right? Mm -hmm. To have the skills to be able to recover healthy in a healthy matter. Um, so we thought by getting kids to draw the their ways of coping, their strategies, the things they're doing at home to help um, get through their anxiety and stress, mm. then they could, and, they, and also illustrate things that they're grateful for and hopeful for, then they can work through their emotions in a way that is healthy and creative and expressive. So we're excited about this project. What are some of the images you're seeing? Well, so on the coping side, mm -hmm. um, very excited to see a lot of outdoor activities, mm -hmm. which is wonderful for their um, their their physical, you know, health. Um, yes. So lots of bike riding and playing basketball. Of course, we're also seeing the things like playing video games and Xbox, which can also be a great release yeah. at a time like this. <laughs> Um, and we're seeing a lot of images that incorporate family. Mm. And that is a really important component because um, the family unit has got to support each other right now. So yeah. we're seeing those. Yeah. Um, for the future, we're seeing a lot of sports. Our kids <laughs> are missing their yeah. athletic teams and their sports. Um, and school, uh, kids that, you know, sometimes you don't, think of as being the ones who are missing school the most. Um, they're putting images of their friends and their teachers, and it's really wonderful to see. That's incredible. Why do you think teaching these, these children coping skills so early in life is so important? Yeah, so the social emotional development of our children is a, a huge, portion of their education. We as a school system have a unique, we're in a unique position mm -hmm. to be able to help students. Um, in Maryland, one in five children are affected with a mental health problem at some point in their adolescence and two thirds of those students often don't get the help they need. Mm -hmm. So if we can do small projects like this through our school system and, and incorporate the families, um, then mm -hmm. it gives them an outlet to be able to build the skills they need from a young age to yeah. then being adults that can help uh, cope and and be able to deal with their emotions in a healthy way yeah. later in life. And, and speaking of the families, are you hearing anything from parents? Are they giving any feedback on, you know, this is so helpful, anything like that? Yeah, the, the parents, in a lot of cases, the children are creating the work, the mm -hmm. artwork, but then the parents are the ones that have to send it to us and upload it and that sort of thing. So I'm getting a lot of great comments from parents saying, this was a fun activity. We appreciate you doing this for our kids. Um, in some cases, it was part of our Wellness Wednesday mm. um, opportunity that we push out every Wednesday from the mental health office of our school system. And in some cases, our art teachers mm -hmm. were assigning it as one of their weekly activities. Um, so it was a great way for a lot of people to come together with a common goal yeah let's say you know obviously more people are at home right now somebody who's maybe my age maybe older is interested in doing this because it might just feel good you know how would how would you suggest doing it any kind of art any yeah. kind of art it doesn't have to be a cube um, we chose the cube idea because ultimately what we would like to do is cut them out and then turn them into a large collaborative mural and that will commemorate this moment in time and hopefully can either travel throughout the county mm. or um, be housed as a um, legacy project at our Board of Ed. But any kind of artwork can help people to reduce stress, release anxieties and fears, and creatively express emotion. Mm. Um, so even just getting out a pad of paper and a pencil and sitting down in front of a television and, and sketching, um, it, it releases um, 
chemicals in your brain that really help to improve your mood, mm. to help calm you. Um, art has an inane uh, ability to socially and emotionally um, give people mental peace. So awesome. And, and for any student who might be struggling, is there resources that they should be you know, watching out for if, if, they, if, they, if parents have a student that might need some extra help? Yeah, absolutely. So we at uh, Worcester County Public Schools, we have online counseling with all of our school counselors. Um, those numbers are available on our social media, on our website. Um, they've also been sent home in packets to our print packet students. So anytime that a parent or a student is experiencing a mental health emergency, they can contact, um, of course, if it's a, a dire emergency, 911 or mm -hmm. 211 and our Eastern Shore crisis um, team crisis response team services, but also just reaching out to their school counselor. They are there to help um, and they can be reached uh, many different hours during the day and um, they're wonderful experts in this field and can help our students at any time. So I encourage them, please utilize our school counselors at this time if needed. Absolutely. Tamara, thank you for everything you guys are doing and thank you for sharing this awesome project with us. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been, it's been a joy and I appreciate the opportunity. All right. Good stuff. Thanks so much. Thanks.